Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a really cute card for you today. I am going to be using a stamp set. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set. This has 32 different images in it. It is amazing. And I know sometimes when we look at stamp sets like this, you're like, yeah, I don't know about that one. But let me tell you, um, I host a bundle swap. So I pick a bundle each month and I swap with some amazingly talented demonstrators from across the country. This was our bundle swap for the month. Um, you can get the stamp set with this happy birthday thinlets die in a bundle. And when you order them together, you save 10%. So my bundle swap this month, I should say for the month of June, was the Happy Birthday Gorgeous Bundle. So I actually received 24 different cards in the mail using this stamp set. I have to tell you guys, it is beautiful. So when I get done showing you how to make this card, I'm going to show you a few of those swap cards that I got. So let's get started. So here are the cardstock layers that we're going to use. I have a lemon lime twist card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, a whisper white layer for the inside that is four by five and a quarter. Then I have this black layer which is five by three and three quarters and the foil frenzy specialty designer series paper which is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I used a scrap of Whisper White to make this oval and I also have two little pieces of Lemon Lime Twist and these are about two inches long by one half inch wide so you just need two pieces about two inches long or so. All right let's get rolling with this card. I am super super excited. I am just in a giddy mood again. I am leaving for Thailand on Saturday morning, tomorrow morning, leaving for Thailand, and I couldn't be more excited about this vacation. I'm taking my daughter Haley. She has been a very, very lucky girl to be able to accompany me on most of my Stampin' Up! trip. Okay, now it'll come out beautifully. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Be aware. Don't push hard like that if you're on a little layer because you'll make a big mess. So there we go. I'm just going to put this on my cardstock base and then I'm going to also adhere the Lemon Lime Twist Foil Frenzy Specialty Paper. This is all foil. These polka dots on here are foil. And sometimes it's really hard to see this um, in a camera, but let me tell you. These papers are gorgeous. They're featured on page 189 in our catalog. And you get three different designs. We have polka dots, stripes, and a chevron pattern in four different colors. So berry burst, tangerine tango, lemon lime twist, and soft sky. So aren't they just beautiful? Love all of these. I've been using this paper a lot. Now we're going to do just a little bit of stamping here. I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat and some Memento black ink and my lemon lime ink. And on the inside of my card, I'm going to stamp happy birthday. And I'm going to use a lemon lime balloon here. Just stamp that right over here on the side. And Lemon Lime Twist is one of our new in colors. So I've got my in color markers here that come with Berry Burst, Fresh Fig, Powder Pink, and Emerald Envy. It's a great set of markers. I'm just going to give my balloon a little string. Just like that. Super easy. Don't think about it too much. Don't drive yourself crazy with it either. As long as we're here, I'm just going to glue this right on the inside and we'll have the inside of our card done. Make sure you don't open up the inside of your card into your ink pad because I've done that plenty of times too. Isn't that maddening? Have you done it? 
It's crazy. Okay, so we're well on our way. Now, I took the It's Your Day and Make a Wish, and I put them right on the same block. That's a great way when you're going to kind of piece greetings together. I'm going to stamp that right here. And by the way, I don't know if you can really see the detail on this, but this is from our Stitched Shape Framelits. You get four squares, four ovals, and four circles. And if you guys follow me, you know that I use these on almost every card. So as far as framelits go, this is probably one of the best set of framelits I've ever invested in. I really, really love it. You get all of these for 30 bucks. So it's, it's a really great deal. It's got that stitching around the outside that just, I don't know, it just really finishes your project without having to put another layer behind it. You can, of course, if you want to. Now I'm gonna grab this little polka dot balloon and I'm just gonna stamp this right on my greeting layer. And then, <clears throat> did you get your hands on some of these glitter enamel dots? I know I have been selling these like crazy. Um, they're on back order right now, but they're still orderable. So if you put in an order, you can order these and they'll just come as soon as they get them in. But these are beautiful and they're um, an ombre color pattern. So we've got the berry burst, the old olive, the dapper denim, and the crushed curry. And even though this is old olive, I'm going to use a couple of these dots on my lemon lime card project. So I've already got a pack going here. Believe me, I have a stash of these because I have been using them like crazy. And where'd my pokey tool go? Right here. You can pick these up with your finger. You can pick them up with the pokey tool. That's the way I prefer to do it. So I'm just going to grab kind of one of these clear ones with a tiny bit and then a little greener one. And they match perfectly with, I think, just about all of our greens because, you know, they're like variegated or ombre. And now for these little banners. So I'm going to put these together. I've got two of them here and I'm just going to snip in the middle and I put them together so that the banners will both be the same on the end. They're going to be the same size, distance, whatever you want to call it. If I can hold them together, right? How about that? <laughs> Sometimes that's more challenging than making the whole card, and I hate it when I get little frayed edges. There we go. Okay, so here's our little banners, and I am going to add a little glue right here and right here. And then I've got a shorter one. So I'm making sure that this only sticks out just a tiny little bit. There we go. So that this one can be a little bit longer. We just modify like that, don't we? Stampers are flexible people. I love that about stampers. Isn't that just a cute little embellishment? I thought so. Came up with that all on my own. Okay, dimensionals. Pop those on the back here. Give it some good support. Press your fingernail into the middle there to make the edges pop up so you can get that backing off. Then you flick those right on the floor. No, I'm just kidding. I don't flick them on the floor. I do a whole cleanup after after I shut off this camera, don't worry. Okay, there we go. And then I've got my balloon and I used um, the balloon bouquet punch and I just punched out a balloon. And then we're gonna use that tiny little celebrate word and we're going to stamp that on our balloon or you can do anything else that you want to your balloon. Just remember when you're stamping with these very tiny little stamps, they're very intricate. You don't want to push too hard because when you push too hard, they get all like flattened out and smashed and they look kind of weird. So don't push too hard. And now I've got a good tip for you. I am using the black baker's twine and hmm, my end is frayed here. Hang tight. Let's get rid of that. Take this and you're going to tie it in a single knot. And now I'm going to put my little balloon on there. See how I tied that right to the balloon, what would you call that thing? The number, how about that? <laughs> I just made up a word. That's the balloon number. And then I'm gonna place a dimensional over to secure my baker's twine in there. And then we're gonna cut the string, and this is why it was frayed, these are not my ribbon scissors. 
Where did my bone folder go? There it is. And now, don't forget my little tip. Hold on to your string and you can make this curl a little bit with your bone folder like your curling ribbon. And it just gives it kind of a cute little curl. I really like that. And, oh, I thought, I had some fuzzies from the twine on there and I thought I smeared my ink all over, but it's dry, don't worry. And there is our fun little card. Happy birthday, hooray! And don't forget, stamp your envelope up while you've got your stamps out. So I am going to stamp some balloons here. Just like that. Oh, and there's one little thing that I forgot that I did on my original. And that is the little tassel on the bottom of the, these balloons. You don't always have to have, where's the tassel? Oh, there it is. You don't always have to have a string on your balloons. You can do one of these little tassels. So let me show you what I mean. These are really cute. And they go just right on the end of the balloon. Isn't that fun? And I gotta put, I forgot, I have to put one right here too. Let's see if I can do that. Yay, I did it, woo! I am winning today. Okay, so there's our adorable little project. Let me clean up this mess so I can show you some of those swap cards. Okay, so as I promised, I've got all these swap cards that I'm going to show you using the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set or bundle. This card is a card by Rose, and she used these little images that look like roses with Rich Razzleberry and Old Olive. She used the enamel dots also, these glitter enamel dots. I love those. This is Crumb Cake. Pretty card. We've got another one here by Rose. She used some of our designer series paper, the in colors, and here's the washi tape. I have this washi tape, and I think I'm going to um, do something for my next tip video about washi tape. So watch for that, hopefully next week. Um, Rose used the stitched shape framelits also with this happy birthday image for the oval. So very, very beneficial. And she flicked black onto it with her marker. I love that technique. And here comes another card. This one is by my friend Lori Kraus. This is the Daisy Designer Series paper and some of that Calypso Coral Ribbon. I just love this really thin ribbon. It's easy to tie into bows or knots. Love what she did here with the wreath. This card is also by Lori. Isn't that pretty? Again, with the Foil Frenzy Designer Series paper. And then she used the black glimmer ribbon. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but it's got like glitter in it. It's so pretty with the Happy Birthday Thinlets. This card is by Rose again. She used our finely woven berry burst ribbon. And this is kind of a cute way to tie a little bow, right? She used some of the um, linen thread to tie that. And again, with the glitter enamel dots. This card is by my friend Lori Krause, and I am in love with this background. I am going to see Lori on Saturday, well, actually Sunday. So I will ask her how she did this, and maybe I will do a video for you. I know that this is watercolor paper, so beautiful technique. And this is that new Starburst punch, that little um, berry burst color that's around the outside there. I'm really liking that, the finely woven powder pink ribbon. This card is by Kathy Miller, and she's got these cute little balloons here. She used the embossing paste with the brick template be behind on her background. We've got lemon, lime twist, peekaboo peach, and pool party, and I just love that color combination with some of our new striped peekaboo peach ribbon, and again with the stitched shaped framelits. I, I'm telling you guys, they are the bomb. I heard somebody, um, I, read, I read on one of my Facebook groups um, for demonstrators that somebody said they hate this lemon lime twist. Are you kidding me? That is just simply wrong. You can't hate this color. I love it. It is so pretty, bright, colorful. And then we have another card here with the foil paper, the silver foil pa paper in some of our in color 
designer series paper in the background and this ribbon isn't this pretty it's got silver on the outside edge we have um, this with gold also but another pretty card by Kathy Miller and she put a little strip down here and used the better together greeting for the inside isn't that pretty okay that's all I have to show you in this swap you will see more cards coming from me um, using the stamp set because like I said did I tell you guys this I messed up on a swap and I forgot to put somebody's address in and they made all the cards rose and um, sent them out to everybody and then nobody was sending cards back to them because I made a mistake so I gave Rose all my my swap cards that came to me because it's only fair I'm the one who screwed up right you gotta pay your penalty but anyways these people um, made extra cards and sent them to me so I really appreciated that but I did take pictures of all the cards before I gave them to Rose so I'll be able to share those with you I hope you guys enjoyed these and I hope you enjoy this bundle um, happy birthday gorgeous is a lot of fun and it's super useful you get a lot of stamps in that stamp set and that concludes my swap tour We have a discount shopper kit sale. And before you tune out, just hear me out. With our discount shopper kit, and this is our starter kit, but I like to refer to it as a discount shopper kit because the majority of the people who buy it, buy it so that they can buy a Stampin' Up! product at a discount, right? I have um, a large team that I take very good care of. I love and adore them. I have private Facebook pages for them where I share only things with them. I've got a blog dedicated to them. Um, if you're local, we have a team meeting usually every month. We travel to Stampin' Up! events and, you know, be together as a group. It's just a wonderful friendship that we have going on. So with our discount shopper kit right now, the kit is $99. You get to choose $125 in any product you want, absolutely anything. And during the month of July, you get some extra stuff. So what are you gonna get extra with the kit? You're gonna get a snail adhesive, so you'll get one of these. You're gonna get a pair of our paper snips. These are fabulously sharp little scissors. Don't pay attention to mine that wouldn't cut the twine because I use them for all kinds of silly stuff and they're old. But these cut, like, they will make you bleed. I've bled. <laughs> You get two D blocks, so one for you, one for a friend, so you can both stamp. You get a pack of this grid paper, which is huge. I mean, I've used like three quarters of it here, but I use this all the time to bring in and measure stuff because it's got measurements here and here, and I use it constantly to measure, to figure out what I'm doing. So um, I love this grid paper. You also get a bone folder and your bone folder will be new and it'll be a lot prettier and it will have a tip on it because you should never use your bone folder to try to pry open your frozen stamp room window um, because it's not made for that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did, yay me. But I have lots of bone folders. But anyways, you'll get a bone folder which is fabulous. You can curl your ribbon. It also, you get the Carols of Christmas stamp set, and I will put a picture up on the screen. I don't have it yet. This promotion just started July 1st, but it's a Christmas in July special, so you're going to get all this stuff plus this Carols of Christmas stamp set. And this has a value of $209.50. You get it for $99 plus tax. If you have a wish list and you want to get some of those things crossed off your wish list, this is a no-brainer. This is for my savvy shoppers because you get so much for free. So if you're interested in buying the Discount Shopper Kit, you can go right to my blog at www.astampabove.com and up on the top of my blog is um, a bunch of links. So you can click on join my team and that'll take you right to my page where you can order your starter kit. It is painless, you can do it right online. All of this stuff comes automatically with it so you don't have to know any item numbers or anything like that. 
get yourself a discount starter kit. You will get a 20% discount right off the top of everything you order. Once you've been with us for a while, you're going to get bumped up to a 25% discount. That discount only goes up depending on how much you buy or if you want to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and sell how much you sell, you get a bigger discount based on, on that. I do have in the right hand column on my blog, go scroll down until you see $99 starter kits. All the information is in there. There's a bunch of questions and answers. So go on there. If you have any other questions, pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com. I would love to have you on my team. It is like a whole new world and you get to be part of a bigger group and you get to be part of a group of people who get your craft. We are crazy, are we not? We are crazy stampers and I love it. So there you have it. We also have bonus days going on. So when you place an order of $50, for every $50 you order during the month of July, you get a $5 coupon to use in August. When you put your order in online on my website, www.estampabove.com, you will be a emailed a code from Stampin' Up. You want to keep that coupon code because that's what you're going to use in August for your $5 discounts. And you can get as many $5 coupons as you want. And if you, the more you get, the happier you make me, too. <laughs> All right, you guys. I am heading out to Thailand at 5.30 in the morning. Our flight leaves. Wish us luck. I believe it's something like, I don't know, 17 hours, which will be just insane. But I'm hoping that um, I have lots of fun on my flight and we get to Thailand safely. I will be posting pictures on my Facebook page. So please go to my Facebook page. It's a stamp above your creative coach. Go on Facebook, type that in the search engine, go there, like my page. So then I'll come into your news feed as I am sharing with you my amazing stamping up adventure. Just another Huge benefit of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is getting to go on these amazing trips, and I couldn't do it without you. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and my daughter thanks you too, for uh, supporting me and helping me to be able to earn a trip like this. Also, my downline. Ah, oh, they're amazing. I love all my demonstrators. My team is the greatest. Thank you guys so much. You have a fabulous weekend. And I will see you from the other side of the world on Facebook. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.